let's take a dive into the ancient waters of the world. Because within those waters was something so terrifying that people have been fascinated with it ever since it was confirmed. I'm speaking, of course, about the Megalodon. This was the king of sharks in many respects, and its myths and legends about its size, power, and such have been talked about so much that Hollywood has been obsessed with it for years, as proven by the recently released Meg 2. But as many would point out, there have been creatures throughout history that were as scary, if not more, than this mighty beast. So with that in mind, this sea monster is 100 times more dangerous than Megalodon. Number 20. Zephactinus. Now, not surprisingly, we're going to start off talking about a fish that existed in prehistoric times. The Zephactinus was one of the largest bony fish of the late Crustaceous era and is considered one of the most fierce creatures in the sea. In terms of its size, this bony fish could not compare to the Megalodon. The massive shark was allegedly 20 meters in length at max, though some think that it may have been over 25 meters is still pretty big, but it's not exactly King Shark level. So why is the creature allegedly more scary than the Megalodon? Well, it's because it's ugly. I mean, seriously, it had a look that only its mother could love, and that's only true if its mother was blind. Some have even stated that it kind of looked like a bulldog more than a fish. It also never had a problem going after species much larger than it was if it meant getting a meal to the extent that some fossil records will show that the creature might have actually choked on meals that were much too large for it to handle. Now that's dedication, but it's also stupid, and I digress. Now, yes, I do acknowledge that on certain levels the fish doesn't compare to the Megalodon, but you also have to remember that when people talk about the Megalodon, they talk about it as though it's the end-all be-all of the ancient waters and whole. But it wasn't. There were creatures that could match its size, and there are even creatures of the modern world that some people would argue are more scary than this ancient beast. Now sure, not all of these entries will meet that criteria, but there's definitely more than meets the eye with some of these aquatic entities. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the Fancy Topic. In today's Fancy Topic, we are going a bit out there for this one. First and foremost, I know the picture that's depicting this sea monster is fake, but you also have to admit that it is very well drawn. The point here is that the creature in the picture is not real, but it does raise an interesting question about life in the ocean, both past and present. By that, I mean how humanity only knows about certain species in the ocean due to how lucky that we've become in discovering them. For example, the giant oarfish is a sea monster of impressive size, but we only learned about it because it literally washed up on the beach. The same goes for other monsters that we'll talk about later, but even in our modern society with all of the technologies that we have, we don't exactly know all of the creatures of the deep. And if we don't know all the creatures that live in the modern oceans, how could we even possibly know all of the ones that live in the ancient ones. For all we know, there were predators in certain bodies of water that were way bigger than the Megalodon, or even much stronger than the mighty shark and more. The only reason we know about the Megalodon is because of remains that have been found, and even those have been incomplete in various ways, which is why there's a debate about how big the shark actually is. There are numerous creatures throughout history that were not able to leave behind remains, or we've simply just not found those remains yet. So when you think about it, there could have been a creature like this that once lived on the Earth, but then something like one of the many extinction level events that the Earth has gone through might have wiped it out. Yeah, the picture may be fake, but the concept behind it may be much more true than we want to admit. So, go ahead and comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic and let me know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Leopleurodon. Here's a creature that some of you may have heard about in the past. As the Leopleurodon was a very impressive beast in the waters during the Jurassic period of life. Ironically though, it's not actually a sea creature, despite it being in the water all the time. It's a kind of reptile. And to prove that, these creatures didn't have any gills, 
and yet they survived in the water just fine. Now, in terms of size, it does measure up to the Megalodon in one way, but not in another. In terms of its length, the creature could get to about 7 meters, but some do feel that 10 meters was also actually a possibility. And furthermore, it's a bit shorter than the Megalodon, but not all of the Megalodons were 20-ish meters. The Megalodon was said to be 50,000 kilograms, whereas the Leopleurodon was at best around 1700s. And that is uh, quite the big difference, I would say. Even still, they were thought to be the top of the food chain in their time. One of the reasons for this was their flippers. They were all powerful swimmers, with the flippers giving them impressive acceleration. So when you have a predator that can get to you rather quickly, well, that means that it's going to eat quite well. Furthermore, it's said that the creature also had an impressive sense of smell that would rival most other sharks, as it could pick up the scent of prey even if that food source was not immediately in visual range. It also had a large set of teeth that was quite a few centimeters long, so when you add a mouth of that power and those jaws and that ability in order to get prey no matter where they are, well, that becomes one scary beast right there. Number 18. Mosasaurus If you want proof that there was an ancient sea beast that was at least in principle scarier than the Megalodon, well, I present to you the Mosasaurus. Many of you are likely very familiar with this beast, depending on your movie knowledge, because this was one of those creatures that would be the highlight of the Jurassic World film. The first one, not the terrible two follow-ups. I mean, seriously, how did that franchise follow the same quality pattern two different times? Anyways, this was indeed a massive sea creature that lived in the Mesozoic period of history and more specifically, the late Cretaceous era from about 70 to 66 million years ago. Fossils of this mammoth creature state that it was at minimum about 12 meters long, but there are some estimates that would say that it could grow to over 17 meters. If that is true, then this would put it within the size range of the Megalodon, and just like that shark, the Mosasaurus was a very aggressive predator that was not afraid to chomp down on any meal that it came across in its path. The Mosasaurus had a massive head with big jaws, and those large jaws had 40 to 50 massive teeth that were long and sharp, and two opposite cutting edges. The jaw of the Mosasaurus was double hinged, which would allow it to open its mouth much more wide than it should in order to swallow its prey whole. So yes, they definitely have that scary factor down pat. Mosasaurus were most likely the most dominant predator species that had lived during the period, and these beasts, they would have definitely pretty much eaten any kind of prey they could find given their large size. That's not unlike the Megalodon, which had to eat quite a bit to stay alive. There is a lot of debate about whether these two creatures existed in the same time period, but if they did, they likely clashed when they saw each other. Number 17. Shonosaurus Now here's one of many creatures that I'll talk about that fall under the category of not what you're expecting. Because the Shonosaurus was indeed a massive creature that lived a very long time ago, it said over 230 million years in fact. Its length was over 15 meters at times, and it had a substantial body weight, just its skull was said to be about 3 meters long. So you would think that such a creature would have massive teeth and would be chowing down on everything in sight, right? It's had some incredibly small and juvenile teeth, which has led many to believe that it only ate soft-bodied creatures. That's a stark contrast to the Megalodon, which basically ate everything in sight, once again proving that you can't judge a book by its cover or a creature by the size of its body. Number 16. Dinosuchus Now, given how evolution works, it is quite unsurprising that there have been creatures from the past that would continue on into the creatures that we have in the world today. And one of them was the Dinosuchus. What is this beast? Well, it's one of the ancestors of the crocodile and alligator that we see today. As with many creatures of the prehistoric era, there are plenty of debates about how big that the thing actually was. Original estimates had it at over 16 meters, while others had it at about 11. Either way, that's much more than the standard alligators and crocs of the era. The saltwater crocodile is the biggest of the bunch, 
and it barely gets above 6 meters at times. Now, they weren't afraid to go up against creatures both on land and in the water, and apparently scrapped with all sorts of dinosaurs. Plus, like their descendants, they were opportunistic creatures, which had made them very cunning and deadly in their own right. Now sure, they would have lost a fight with the Megalodon, but it was also a creature that could easily avoid the shark simply by not being in the water with them. Sometimes it is the little things that can make the biggest difference. Number 15. The Leviathan Now we're going there, and for good reason. While the name Leviathan is a reference to many things, not the least of which are massive beasts of myth and religion that were said to have been so powerful that it was truly insane to behold, there was actually a creature named the Leviathan that was so big and strong it might have well been the only truly legit foe for the Megalodon. The irony of all of it is that the Leviathan was a whale. That's right, it's the biggest prehistoric whale to have ever lived, and it was a mean beast to battle with. In terms of size, based on fossils of the beast that were found, the Leviathan was said to be over 15 meters long. That would easily put it in the size range of the Megalodon. But just as important, the weight of the whale was almost identical to that of a shark. So in some ways, these two behemoths colliding would have been like a version of Godzilla vs. Kong, two very different monsters going at it for true dominance in the waters. The twist is that this may have actually happened. Fossil records on both creatures are incomplete, but the belief is that they were both existing in the same time period about 13 million years ago. If true, then these beasts might have clashed. How did it go if they did? Well, it's hard to say. But it's also been stated that things likely would not have gone down on the regular given their size and aggression. Sometimes you don't pick a fight with the other big guy in the yard. And to back up that statement that it could take on the Megalodon, the Leviathan had the biggest teeth of any prehistoric creature, and in those waters, size definitely mattered. We'll never know how far these two went in their scraps, but it is a debate that will keep many talking for quite some time. Number 14. Helicoprion Now, what does it mean to be scary? That's something that varies depending on whom you talk to about it, but pretty much everyone would agree that if they saw a creature that looked like it had a buzzsaw for a mouth, well, that would be really freaky. And guess what? That creature actually existed, and it was called the Helicoprion. Yes, it is real, and no, scientists have no idea how the heck a creature like this came to be. To be clear, the tooth whorls, as they are called, are not able to move like an actual buzzsaw, but the fact that it's shaped like one in the first place is just enough to give people pause. Plus, since it can't spin in place, how was it used to potentially prey? People, well, they still disagree on that. Some believe that each tooth had a different function depending on its position in the tooth whorl. Anterior teeth hooked and dragged prey into its mouth, and the middle teeth pierced and cut the prey, while the posterior teeth cut and pushed the prey into its oral cavity. If that is true, it is disgusting, but since it's not alive anymore, we may never know for certain. What we can say is that the Megalodon had nothing like this, and we should all be grateful for that. Number 13. Dunkleosteus Here's another example of changing the perception of what it means to be scary. Why? Because the Dunkleosteus is a creature that had one heck of a bite force, which is already impressive when comparing it to the Megalodon. But the other reason it's talked about so much is that this was quite literally an armored fish. Specifically, it was armored up around its head, which only added to its bite power. But no, it did not have any sharp teeth. Instead, the armor made blades that it would use to bite down on its prey with an incredible amount of force. Ironically, it is these armor plates that survived via fossilization, so other aspects of the fish have actually been lost to history. Could you just imagine if the Megalodon had armor plating? Actually, let's not do that and just simply move on. Number 12. Chronosaurus Here's another creature that was known for how fast that it could move in the waters, which had made it very dangerous. The Chronosaurus would have hunted large fish, invertebrates such as giant squid and ammonites, and perhaps even other large reptiles, which all have crazy prehistoric names that I am not about to attempt to pronounce. Now, to be fair, their size was not anything to write home about. 
They were only about 2.4 meters in length, and they were stated at one time to be about six times that. But that was yet another exaggeration of what the fossils were stating about the creature. So yes, maybe it would not have measured up to the Megalodon in any kind of meaningful way, but the way that people talked about how it would fly through the waters is interesting, as I'm sure the king shark wasn't that graceful in the water. Number 11. Sarcosuchus Here we will be talking about some more relatives of the crocodile and the alligator, and we have another large specimen for you in the form of the Sarcosuchus. First off, these were huge creatures. Some of them could even get up to about 9.5 meters in length, and that would put them on par with not only many of the sea creatures of the time, but many land dinosaurs. In fact, some have even labeled the Sarcosuchus the dinosaur-killing croc. Although technically it's not a croc, it's actually an ancestor of the crocodilian, but that's another matter entirely. There's been plenty of debate about what the Sarcosuchus ate and how it would take on predators, and it was once even believed that they could do the death roll technique that many modern crocodiles and gators will do. However, that has since been debunked. But if this thing could truly take a dinosaur on and win, well, that is a truly scary thought indeed. Number 10. Predator X now, unfortunately, I am not talking about the Predator, the mighty alien warrior who almost killed Arnold Schwarzenegger. Today, I'm going to be focusing on something a lot more prehistoric that comes out of the ocean. Apparently, there was once an aquatic prehistoric creature known as Predator X, but it was much more commonly known as the Pleosaurus. I'm pretty sure that you know exactly which name was better, right? That's what I thought. But while its name isn't impressive, almost everything else about it was. The Pleosaurus was a monster. Its bite force was apparently four times as much as Tyrannosaurus rex, which also meant that it could have crushed a 4x4 truck. Its four flippers could make it soar through the water at 5 meters per second, and it also had an impressive size, as it was allegedly 13 meters long. For the record, I think the Predator could have taken on the Megalodon simply because it had a nuke. Just saying. Number 9. Spinosaurus Here's a creature that was traced back to Africa during its prehistoric period. You might recognize the Spinosaurus from a certain property, but I'm not going to talk about it here, mainly because the creature is now believed to have lived a semi-aquatic life. There have been many theories about this creature over the years, but the reason for that inconsistency was that the fossil record for it was very much incomplete. Once the picture began to become filled in, well, the more we realized how interesting it actually was. For example, true to its semi-aquatic life, it ate things both on the land and in the water, which included taking on other dinosaurs. And as far as its size goes, well, it was the biggest carnivorous dinosaur on record because it could be over 14 meters long. And that, my friends, is one large creature. Number 8. Basilosaurus The next entry is interesting for multiple reasons, not the least of which is that the Basilosaurus is known as King Lizard in certain circles. But one thing that really stands out is when it existed. It was dominating the ancient waters of the world and when the dinosaurs had gone extinct. That's right, so that meant that it would have been in the waters after the Megalodon and others had died out and before mammals and other creatures started to fill up the new earth. Oh, and guess what? It's also another whale. That's right, whales were actually scary back then. Plus, it was actually bigger than the megalodon at its peak because it's said to have been over 20 meters in length at times. So, it may not have been as heavy as the megalodon, but that likely would not have bothered it. And we can file this one under the what-if category of matchups, because who knows what would have happened if these two had existed at the same time. Number 7. Anomalocaris Now, I'm just going to say this right here and right now. This is scarier than the Megalodon. And sure, it totally couldn't have taken one on in a fight, but that doesn't really matter. What does matter is that this is a freaky looking creature and we want no part of it. Now, believe it or not, this creature is actually an ancient shrimp albeit one that was about two meters long, and it was much more aggressive than any shrimp that you may know. For example, the Anomalocaris had extremely sharp vision. The presumed undulating swimming motion made it a fast swimmer, 
and once it caught up to its prey, the creature could grab it using front limbs equipped with sharp spikes on each segment. This combination of excellent vision, speed, and spiky front arms would have made it the most formidable predator. A predator shrimp, mind you. And again, no thank you. Number 6. The Tully Monster if it is not evident by now, the ancient world was not exactly afraid to go against the norm and create something that just defies belief. And we've got another example of that right here with the Tully monster. One first look at this thing, and can you even tell what it is? Because I absolutely can't, and apparently neither could the scientists that tried to research it. They had an ongoing debate about whether the thing was a vertebrate or an invertebrate, and 70 years later, they finally determined that the creature apparently didn't have any bones at all. Even with all of that figured out, a lot of people still don't know what the Tully monster actually is in terms of a life form. And when you go decades without truly being identified, well, that's an absolutely terrifying thing. Number 5. Tanistrophius. When your nickname is the long-necked Triassic weirdo, well, you know there's something very different going on with you. And that's exactly what this creature is in many ways. It's one that was so odd upon discovery that they originally thought that the sea creature could actually fly. However, instead, it's a long-necked sea creature that is, well, still pretty odd. For example, why did it need such a long neck? Nobody honestly knows. And to add to the mystery, despite being a very large sea creature, it apparently was really terrible at swimming. That would get scientists to believe that it would use its neck for swift strikes to get its prey. And I mean, whatever works for you, my friend. Number 4. The Europaterids. Here's another one whose name, again, I have probably mispronounced and mangled. And it's another one that we know that we can't match up to in terms of the Megalodon. However, many scientists are pretty high on these creatures, so we're just going to roll with it. These were amongst the largest and most fearsome of marine predators of the Paleozoic, or so people would say. I'm not really sure how that works when the largest of them was barely 2 meters long, and many of them were only 10 centimeters. And if you're thinking, wow, they look like ancient scorpions, well, you would be right on that. They are arthropods, and they are related to scorpions and other arachnids. Which, if you know us at all, instantly puts them into our we hate it list, because I hate even anything that's closely related to those creatures. Megalodon? Well, if you had a chance to eat up any of these things, I would appreciate it. Number 3. The Giant Squid it's taken a while to get here, but we're going to dive into the modern waters of our world to talk about a creature that many would agree is much more scary than the Megalodon, simply from a physical standpoint, as well as a dread standpoint. In terms of length, the giant squid stands out, mainly because it was over 13 meters long with its female. True, the tentacles of the squid do make up most of its height, but that's part of what makes it so terrifying to people. In fact, it is much more scary than they may realize, because the giant squid will literally shoot out their feeding tentacles so that they could catch prey over 9 meters away from their main body. The ends of these tentacles have suckers that attach themselves to the prey, and then they'll slowly draw them in so that they can reach the body and be eaten. Oh, and if you don't know, squids have beaks, and that is scary in its own right. They'll use these beaks to take out large chunks of their prey until they're all digested. But why would some people think that a giant squid is scarier than the Megalodon? Well, these are deep sea creatures, so people don't exactly see them all that often. And to that end, that could make them even bigger than we think that they are. Furthermore, the legends of these squids were what helped to make the Kraken legend popular. And some still think that the Kraken exists and that the thing could definitely scrap with the Megalodon today. Number 2. The Blue Whale Now, some of you might be hearing record-scratching noises in your head right now. After all, I'm saying that the Blue Whale, arguably one of the most gentle animals in the history of the world, is much more scary than the Megalodon. Maybe I'm high. Well, it's all about maintaining a certain point of view, really. Specifically, while the Blue Whale did not exist in the time of the Megalodon, I do truly feel that this creature would have given the massive shark some pause. 
Based on the top end estimates of the creature, the blue whale is nearly twice the length of your average megalodon from the period and easily four times as heavy. So yeah, they are a very big whale, and we already talked about one whale that was basically one to one to the megalodon and how the shark would have had problems with that. Another thing to note here is that blue whales travel in pods more times than not, and sometimes they can even have 60 of their family with them. So then just imagine a singular megalodon coming upon a batch of that many blue whales. It might smell food, but it would be sensing a bit of a problem in trying to get them without hurting itself. Just because blue whales are known to be kind does not mean that they won't get rough when the time comes to defend their own. Number 1. Stethacanthus Now as I've proven throughout this list, I cannot pronounce prehistoric names. There are also many ways to determine why something may be more scary than another creature. But for this final entry, I'm going to pull a 180 in the opposite direction. I can very easily tell you that the Stethacanthus was not as scary as the Megalodon, not even close. But what's scary here is that in these prehistoric waters, you could have something as menacing as the Megalodon and then something as nonchalant as the Stethacanthus. Now, first and foremost, just look at the creature. Apparently, it was barely a meter long and didn't really weigh all that much. It also has a very odd ironing board protrusion out of its back that took quite a while to figure out what it was actually used for. Apparently, it was for mating? Well... Just as shocking as that this wasn't a ravenous shark of the ancient world, it was actually a bottom feeder. It would only go after fish that it felt was really slow, and thus could get an easy meal out of. And they only did that when they felt the opportunity presented itself. So what we actually have here is a case of opposites. The Megalodon was one of the most fierce sharks to have ever lived, and the Stethacanthus just was not. It's kind of scary to think that evolution and life in general can work at such polar opposite levels. That's all from the realms of the deep and how there were creatures, both past and present, that may have been scarier than the Megalodon. Do you agree that some of these creatures were scarier than that mighty shark? Or do you feel that it still reigns supreme? Perhaps you know of another creature that would have fit on this list. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. You should also check out all the other cool things that are showing up on the screen. And I will see you next time.